I'm gonna show you a few licks in the Lydian mode because it is the best mode. It is the most dreamy, elegant, expressive mode in all the scales. At least that's what I think. And what I think matters, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Anyways, the reason I came up with this lesson is because I was totally inspired by this. The JHS Tidewater. It is a tremolo pedal, and as you can see, it's a little, little baby, cute little baby blue. But the cool thing about tremolo is that it has this harmonic element to it, especially when you have a little distortion. I'm running this through my effects loop of my PRS Custom 50 with just the amp distortion and what happens is there tend to be these overtones that generate these harmonic overtones from the tremolo effect, and it's really, really cool. And I just started playing these licks in Lydian, and well, I wanna teach you a few of them, so I'm gonna do that. Stick around. If you like the sounds in this video, then definitely check this pedal out. It's going to be on 100% of the time in this video. There's a link down below to check it out. And also, there's a link down below to Guitar Super System if you want to sign up for that. It's my new learning platform for you guitar players out there. If you're interested in all this jargon about music theory, Lydian modes, blah blah blah, or just enjoy these licks. Let's get to it. First, I'm going to play a nice clean loop, uh, E to F sharp major. That's a nice Lydian chord progression that I like, and I'm going to have a real slow tremolo happening here with the Tidewater. And then I'm gonna crank on a little bit of dirt as I do and turn up the speed of the tremolo a little bit to give you those harmonic elements that I was talking about. So let's get to the licks, shall we? Okay, that is our loop sound, very basic, very nice and lush. The first lick I'm gonna show you is a very kind of spacey, almost weird, out there sound. It really makes you uneasy if you don't have the harmony behind it, but I think it really, really brings out the sound of the Lydian mode, which is, you know, a good thing. One of the coolest things about Lydian as far as the actual physical shape on the guitar neck goes is the amount of tritones you have access to that don't sound bad. Typically when you hear a tritone, that's not necessarily an ear pleasing sound like you would come to expect from Lydian, but when you have those chords behind. how that sound is actually right in the sweet spot of that dreamy Lydian sound. So this lick takes advantage of that and just goes straight up this tritone railway, if you will. And that's where our departure from the tritone, obviously, right here is where we move away from the tritone. We have a perfect fourth there and a perfect fourth there, but we're following the same cascading ascending pattern. And we're finishing it out with a cool little three note per string kind of Steve Vai vibe. That's uh, kind of something that I've sniped off of Steve Vai's playing. The neat thing about Lydian is it really kind of makes you play a little bit more elegantly and legato-ish, at least it does for me. So you can kind of see how my fingers almost dance across these strings. There's really a dramatic uh, display happening when I play this kind of music because I really feel connected to the sound. So that's kind of the inspiration for this lick. So that is obviously our kind of exclamation mark on the phrase. I've been uh, kind of doing this a lot lately. I've noticed in my playing uh, where I'm hitting an octave eventually, but it starts off as a minor seventh. So we have, and then I bend that up to the octave. But you can still hear that uh, lower octave ringing. So it kind of gives it a cool uh, raunchier sound, I think. come back down to that B note. Uh, so all in all. I 
sort of mute that octave, uh, turns out in the end, but you can play it whichever way you like. This next lick has a lot going on. There's a bit of finesse that you'll need to command in order to make this thing happen, but when you do get it down, you may never stop playing it. Okay, so there's a lot of moving parts to this one. As far as the scale shape that I'm thinking of, I'm down here, maybe in this Aeolian mode. So the first thing I wanna show you is this little flick. I think I picked this up from Rick Graham and it's essentially a bend. And when you're in the top of that bend, you slither your finger a half step, very gracefully though. Uh, to achieve this sort of sound. And then, of course, we come down to that traditional ending spot. So instead of like, we have really expressive sound there. And built into that are some really cool taps that I am just tapping. Everything's on the G string for this particular lick. So let's start with the notes that I'm tapping first and then I'll get to the mechanics of this technique. The 21st fret is the first one and then we have the 18th fret and then we have the 14th fret. So those are the target notes and then obviously we have to command a bit of bending in the left hand to make these things happen. So we'll break this into three parts uh, for each of those respective notes that I mentioned. So that would be the first element and as you can see I'm hitting this 21st fret when I'm at the top of this bend. So it's kind of like a pull off. So after we have that piece, we are moving on, and this left hand is gonna do the same thing for this note, but you'll notice that I hold my finger on the 18th fret to achieve. So those two together. And when the lick's up to speed, as you can hear there, I am not re-attacking, I'm just using the inertia in a legato approach. And then finally, the capper on this is the 14th fret and I lifted this little uh, move from John Mayer. I think he put like an Instagram video of a solo that he was trying for a new song and essentially what's going on here, I'll play it first and then break it down. So what's happening is it's a whole step into a half step. So the notes I'm actually achieving are. So there's five notes happening in this. And when you crank up some volume, you can actually get a little harmonic out of it, uh, which is helpful with this JHS tremolo. together. Oh, that's sweet. All right, the last lick that I have for you guys is a seemingly straightforward lick, but it requires a bit of endurance and strength in the fingers to execute properly. It may be the most classic Lydian sounding lick of the three, and well, that's just what makes it so, so sweet. So this one might seem like your typical open string pull-off Joe Satriani type Lydian lick, and it kind of is, but this one is actually surprisingly difficult just because of the way I'm trying to execute it, and that is without picking any notes other than the first one to get the phrase started. And you don't even actually have to pick that one, but just to get things going, I am just going straight down this Lydian scale, and uh, I call it a scale, it's actually a mode, uh, but 
either way, when I get past this 12th fret uh, in my descent, I then do a bit of a delay effect where I am not just descending, I am going. So starting from one pattern behind uh, instead of just descending straight down after I get to the 12th fret. So that's a long way to say it sounds like this. Something to that effect. And of course, you gotta remove that pick. It helps if you have a little bit more gain. So really what my right hand is doing is muting all the strings uh, so only the E string rings out. So this is uh, a term called hammer from nowhere. So you are using the strength of your index finger uh, to make this first note of each subsequent phrase happen and obviously the pull off with your middle finger to have this triplet effect. And again, I'm not using my picking hand, so it's all in the left hand here, the fretting hand. And once you have that down, it's just a matter of repetition. So like I said, this is a challenging lick just because of the endurance it takes to get through it all clean. Um, and you can work on that basically by breaking it into little pieces. and obviously having less gain makes it more difficult. up our Lydian lick lesson. Make sure to check out the JHS Tidewater if you're looking for an awesome sounding tremolo pedal and want to save some space on your pedal board. Until next time, keep shredding.